Hello, I'm Mr. Scruff. We're here at Amoeba in Hollywood, and this is what's in my bag. One of the first things I found was this. A lovely early 80s uh, modern soul album with the typical sort of silk shirt and sat in his pants with some roses and champagne, but it was a very uh, behind the dodgy cover. A really good tune called One Way Love Affair, which is the uh, title track. And I found quite a few of these albums over the years, but they always make really good uh, gifts for mates who like modern soul and boogie and stuff. One of my friends is going to get this for their next birthday. <laughs> Next, in no particular order, um, I was thumbing through the, uh, the Blues uh, 45s and found a little 45 of um, Louis Jordan's Saturday Night Fish Fry. Obviously a classic that everyone knows, but uh, one of those have got an album, but not on a single. The B-side says Concluded, which must be a part two, but it might be something that's not on the album, so we shall see. But uh, yeah, good one for a house party. It was rocking. It was rocking. Something that's been very encouraging over the last 10 years or so is the rise in labels such as Soundway and Sofrito and Analog Africa and Awesome Tapes from Africa and a lot of these uh, people who are putting in serious time and finding amazing examples of music which hasn't really been on many people's radar outside of those countries. And this is a, a compilation called Haiti Goes Latin and one that I don't have. And it's on celluloid, which has been one of my favourite labels for over 30 years. So, yeah, I kind of came looking for old records and found a, a new compilation I don't have. So, uh, yeah, that goes into the bag. Next up, uh, an amazing and legendary uh, Jamaican guitarist, Ernest Wrangling. He had uh, quite a few records out on the Island Jamaica Jazz label. Um, this one I don't have. And it's kind of jazzed up versions of um, reggae classics, or classic rhythms. There's a very high chance of something being very good on this piece of vinyl. So uh, yes, that's another one I was very pleased to pick up. we have um, Randy Brown. Now, Randy Brown had two or three albums, I think all on um, big labels. This was on uh, Parachute, which was a subsidiary of Casablanca, which was probably a subsidiary of something else. But this was a very popular album in the late 80s with a kind of rare groove scene in the UK. Probably my favorite tune on this album is called um, Love Is All We Need, which is a beautiful kind of floaty disco number, really big, soulful, uh, Tune. It's also a tune I've not brought with me, so I can I can play this um, at my next gig. I think sometimes I'm looking at tunes and going, I've already got this, but I left it at home. I'm always tempted <laughs> to, to buy it for the next gig. A very very fine uh, album and a good price. It's uh, eight dollars, so that's really good. This one's another blast from the past. Not a great piece of music. It's by um, Full Force called Temporary Love Thing. But wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Yo, listen, baby. I just got to go. I got to go. But you can't leave <laughs> listen, me. Listen, baby. Where... Ain't nothing wrong with the Temporary Love Thing. I can't remember if I've got this, but I remember hearing it on a lot on radio and really being after it. So this is either something I've been after for nearly 30 years or it's something I've got and bought and thought, oh, it doesn't sound as good as it did on the radio. Either way, it's only 50 cents, but um, yeah, I have a fondness for some of the old full force stuff, especially some of the harmonies and, and you know, some of the rougher uh, edge production. Could be good, or it could just be excess baggage, we will see. This one, Tony Aiken and Future 2000, this is a really, really rare um, album of kind of sort of disco rap, but kind of uh, sort of mixed like a reggae tune. I think it's from uh, New York, but um, it sounds like it was mixed at kind of Bullwacky Studio or something like that. I've got the 12 off this, 
album, but I don't have the album, and it's a reissue, and uh, I think, yeah, $10, so there's uh, something I've been after for a while. <laughs> And last but not least, uh, something new from uh, Marcellus Pittman, someone I pretty much buy all his records on site. This is new and I don't have it, so there we go. Thank you so much. Thank you.